let's look at this uh, question from the OpenStax uh, textbook. We have some mercury. It has a density of 13.5939 grams per cubic centimeter. And we've got this volume, 6.00 cubic centimeters, and we want to know uh, what is the mass. So for this uh, problem A, let's start thinking about this problem in terms of the density formula. We're given the density. We're given the uh, volume, and we want to find the mass. So if we do the algebra, we see that mass is simply equal to density times volume. Let's look at it in terms of the units. So the mass here should be equal to the density. And the density has units of grams per cubic centimeter. And we want to multiply that by the volume. Cubic centimeters is a volume. And cubic centimeters cancels here. And what we will get as a result is uh, units of grams. So let's calculate this out on our calculator. And write what we first get, 81.5634. Now we want to round this to the proper sig figs. Um, this problem has three sig figs in the volume and many sig figs in the density. So we want to round this off to three sig figs. The next digit higher is greater than five, so we round this up. So the mass is going to be equal to 81.6. And the units here are grams. So let's box that guy up. And so that's the mass of the mercury. Let's look at uh, problem B now. <clears throat> Here we've got a liquid, octane, and it has a density of 0 0.702 grams per cubic centimeter. We do the same thing. Mass is equal to density times volume. Okay, And we seemingly, seemingly have a problem here. We have milliliters of gasoline and cubic centimeters in the denominator of the density. But it's important to realize that cubic centimeters is equal to milliliters. Okay? It's just a different way of representing the same volume. So the mass is going to be equal to the density grams per milliliter, which is the same thing as cm cubed, times our volume, 25.0. Milliliters. So here the milliliters will cancel. And let's see what we get on our calculator. Initially we get 17.55 uh, units of grams, but we'll, we'll deal with that in a second. So how many sig figs do we have in the density? It looks like three. And it looks like we have three sig figs here. So we want three sig figs in the answer. This number is 5 or greater, so we round this uh, tenths place from a 5 to a 6. So the answer here will be 17.6 grams. We'll go ahead and box that up. That's our final answer. Thanks for watching.